Hello, my friends. This is Sandra Brown of Life Pushing 80. And I was going to do a recording a video yesterday, but I don't know. After I went to church and went out to eat, I just got kind of mellow and sleepy and <laughs> didn't feel like doing it. But I just now got back from a luncheon with um, some of the ladies in this area. I have two long tables full of them. I was really surprised, so we had such a nice time. I was so glad they invited me. All right, so I'm doing well, and I thank you for all your comments and for all your concerns and, and for all of you who have subscribed to my channel. I deeply appreciate it. And um, now what Bill and I have been doing is we're getting his uh, townhouse ready for sale. Yes, we are. And um, I thought I'd give you a little, maybe a little walkthrough. You know, it's such a nice, cozy little place. So it will be going up very, very soon. Okay, I think I just, how will I do this? Uh, okay, turn it around, show you. This is fireplace. And the paintings up there are mine. Actually, I painted that tulip with uh, Gary Jenkins. The pumpkins I just made up. And that little fan I got at an antique store. I always like that load. And the vase I got in a garage sale. <laughs> and the cotton I ordered. And that clock that I've had for a very long time. It wasn't working at my house when we got it here and it's working. And down here, that is a cigar box that belonged to my grandfather. And you can see right there where he put his cigar and put a burn on there. More than one. And uh, Bill said he got that little Scotty dog. Uh, him and his wife got it at a garage sale, and I loved it. And the pillowcases that were on Bill's sofa was uh, boring, you know. And I bought these slip covers, these two. And I bought this um, throw just to kind of brighten things up. And this is looking outside. It's, this is September 17th, I think. So, as you can see, trees are all turning. And he blew all the leaves off, but they're all back again. So yesterday, and there's Millie looking out for her, for her squirrels. She's always looking for squirrels. And Bill's sofa, and I have two chairs that match this perfectly. And those are the slip covers I bought. They, they were real inexpensive on Amazon. I think it was like four different designs. And he had this table in the hallway and I brought it in here for a coffee table. That'd be nice. And this is the dining area. And, I, you know, somebody, I was, <laughs> I'm going to see what the name of it is, I don't want to forget. It's, they, it's a company forever, hold on, I got to go over here and look at this, I'm so sorry. Um, what is the name of the company? Oh, Marina Rose Forever, it's called. Marina Rose Forever. And they sent me. These roses, they come in a, a velvet box, and that's the lid I have down here on the bottom. And I tipped it sideways for showing. And those are real roses, but they're good for a year. I've had them maybe two weeks, something like that. And uh, of course, they stay very fresh. I've never seen anything like this, but. They're giving me a link that I'm going to share where you can purchase them for 25% off. 
and they have all different color roses, different shapes and colors of boxes, different materials. So I guess when you go on their website, you'll see all of that. And these were just dishes that Bill had in his kitchen. I thought, I'm just gonna kind of stage the house a little bit. And this is a little window that goes through into the kitchen. And here's the flooring and skylight with a couple of leaves on it. <laughs> We've had uh, some beautiful weather here. Oh, the trees are so pretty. And Bill, he's very patriotic. And yes, he is. And this is the little kitchen. And so it will come with uh, stove, microwave, refrigerator, actually everything uh, you would need. And this is looking from the kitchen, such a nice view out the patio. And let's see. And then you have a pantry here. I hope I'm going slow enough with my camera because I do tend to go fast. I'll try to go slow. And that's going into the garage. It's a one car garage. And it has a little laundry area. Which is just a perfect little place. A little nice place to get off with a door so you don't have any noise. And there's uh, storage, linen closet here. And there's two bathrooms, uh, two full bathrooms. And this is the guest room or second bedroom. This is where I stayed when Bill came and got me when we were married. This was my room. I still use this to put all my makeup on here though. Okay. Moving right along. And this is the master bedroom. Some of the stuff we gotta move out. This was Bill's case with all his Civil War mem memorabilia in his desk area. And this room also has a patio door going on into the deck. You wanna go out there, Millie? Okay. Oh, it's, it's very crisp today. You need a jacket on. Yeah. But the weather is never severe here. And this is the second bathroom, full bath. Hi again. And this is the uh, walk in closet. Bill was a fireman. That's his head up there. Okay, lots of storage. And then, let's see, how do you turn the light on here? This is, I use the other bathroom. <laughs> okay. But anyways, there's a, I don't know where the light is here. But anyways, it's a jetted bathtub. A little medicine cabinet in here. But anyways, we will be putting it up soon. 
we got to uh, get some appraisals, appraisals on the house. And we purchased a home here in Tennessee. We uh, actually, we changed our mind because, well, he always wanted to stay here in Tennessee. But I, um, I wanted to be closer to my sister in Florida. But to be honest with you, I uh, fell in love with Tennessee. <laughs> I love the people, I love the climate. It's a great place to be. So we bought a house. It's much bigger so that I can have an art studio and so that I can have a place for my YouTubing and he's a writer and so he'll have another room for him. He can do have his own office and, uh, and then also a room for guests. So it works, should work out really good. And it's on a golf course. So anyways, now I gotta like learn my way around here because as I said before in Tennessee, everything's up, down, or around. You know, so and I'm not good with directions. That is my weakness. I always have this fear of getting lost, but I'm gonna do it. I don't like to be afraid of anything. Just have to face it. And I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Let's see, is there anything else? Oh, I was going to ask you if you haven't subscribed to my channel. I would deeply appreciate it if you do that. And I thank you very much. And thank you for all of you who have subscribed and who continue to watch. And I'm so, I'm so surprised since I've been here. I, I went to church and ran into two people who've seen my YouTube channel. They come up to me, recognize me, and the pastor recognizing <laughs> and then today two people at the ladies luncheon I didn't know anybody there and two people there watch my channel <laughs> so it's like wow it's so shocking that it was it was nice you know <laughs> Bill said he's gonna have to get a show for his head because <laughs> I'm gonna be a star <laughs> yeah, right but anyways, I do appreciate everyone of you. And you know your comments. And I'm not just saying this. I read. Not only do I read your comments, I read them. I read them more than once. And he wants to hear all of them, Bill does. He, so I read them all to him, too. And um, like today, today's luncheon, they asked me to. Everybody was so nice. I just got a video from Bill. He says, oh, hi, baby girl. How did your shoot go? I'm doing it right now, girl. So um, I'm gonna put in my description, the channel, I'll be putting um, information about the roses. I've just never seen anything like it. Um, I guess I like the idea of you can give someone roses like this and for them to last for a year, that's pretty nice. And then I, then I thought about, oh, what if you get dusty? Well. There's a beautiful, the lid on it. Let's see if I can lift this off. See, there's rose forever. And then, now, I mean, I, I got one of the smaller ones and I got the black, but it has a, a lid and you can just put this on and put and put it away. I got one hand, I can't do nothing here. But anyways, you can just store it away. Or if, when, like what I've been doing is just keeping it closed and then when somebody's coming over, I just open it up again. And it keeps all the dust off of it. Yes. Okay, this is kind of a short one. Am I forgetting anything? Mm, oh, yeah, I went, I went to, Bill took me to my first live play. Believe it or not, I've never been to one. And it was, um, maybe, maybe at a school once, I might have, I'm not sure. But anyway, it was uh, the Buddy Holly story. And then he took me out to dinner afterwards. And I can't help it. I had more fun watching. It was a wonderful play. I loved it. Enjoyed it so much. We're just watching him. He was so much enjoying it. He was clapping his hands and singing, and it was just so cute. It was just so nice for us to get out because all we've been doing is working. Okay, guys, that's it for now. But um, I'm going to be doing more, and I'll show you my new house and 
And then maybe you can watch as we decorate it. That'd be great. Okay, bye-bye. I love all of you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I got it. I got to give you something, right? Okay. All right. This is, first, this is just a little, a little something I was reading. It said, sometimes you just have to turn the page to realize there is more to your book of life than one page you are stuck on. Stop being afraid and move on. So... Yeah, don't get stuck on one page. And if you've lost somebody, if you've lost a husband or wife, that was wonderful. He were, she were, they were wonderful. He had a great marriage, or maybe it wasn't so good. And you're afraid, but oh, don't let fear run your life. Don't let fear run your life. Just go for it. I did, and I'm really happy I did. We were really getting along good, and it's just so nice to have someone someone in your life to share, just to share things with. We've been going to church and out to eat together and working together. Okay, and here's a scripture in Isaiah 26, 3. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Meaning that we trust in him and if we trust in him and keep our mind on him, we'll have perfect peace. And who doesn't want perfect peace? Well, in this world, the way things are going on, I know God is in control. I'm telling you, I'm just saying this. Bill and I really trust the Lord. We really do. And we've really been trusting the Lord for, for everything. And you know, it's amazing. The way things work out for us. Everything. I mean, every time we need something done, how he'll just run into the person that day. You know. You know, we got a leaky faucet. Oh, but this guy, you'll run into him. Just continually that way everything just working out so beautifully. I tell you, God is good. He does care about us. He cares about all of us in every detail of our life. But put him first in your life, okay? You guys take good care of yourself, and I do love you. And uh, send comments. Keep sending them because I just love them. I just love them. I'm, I'm trying to catch up on them. I don't know if I ever will, but I, I'm really trying, and, uh, and I definitely read them. Okay, bye now. Love all of you very much. Bye-bye.